Toast and butter, bud. What's up, man? Family man. So, this is it, huh? Yep. Now we get inside. <laughs> I sure it isn't too much work. No, no, no. See, that's the beauty of it. I never thought it needed to be remodeled in the first place. I mean, yeah, clean it up for sure. A couple of quick fixes and rebrand. I'm telling you, Sammy, this place could be a gold mine. Right? Aim at the university crowd, okay? Student pricing, decent food. I mean, I'm telling you, man, nobody's coming in for blood sausage. <laughs> right? Yeah. Boy, yeah, man. I mean, it's what we've always talked about, right? Yeah. Well, let's see what Kate thinks. All right? It's her money, too. Yeah. She should be here any minute. Speaking of the devil. She here? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Hey, Katie. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good to see you. What do you think, Kate? Looks pretty rough. But I like it. OK, she likes it. It's pretty much our whole nest egg. I know. I'm leveraged up to my eyeballs. I'm in this all the way, too. It's a slam dunk, OK? I'll deal with the realtor. You go talk to the bank, see if we can't get this ball rolling, huh? What do you say, kids? Yes! Come on, buddy. That's a good boy. <laughs> the Josephs moved today. Yeah, no, I saw the moving truck earlier. It's weird, it happened fast. It's an odd time to move too, right before school starts. Mm. Yeah, I hope everything
Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Thanks. I'm Sam Luck, your friendly neighborhood neighbor. <laughs> Taryn Hathaway, your new neighbor. Come on in. Got a heavy one here. Yeah. You can, uh, you can just put it down over there. Yeah. Thanks. It's a beautiful old house you got. Yeah, it is. We, uh, we wanted a fresh start. It just seemed like the right place. You and, uh... My father. Oh. <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. Luck, when you're not being the friendly neighborhood neighbor? I'm a, uh, English teacher uh, at the high school. <laughs> that must be rewarding. Yeah, it is. It's very rewarding. <clears throat> and, uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm actually a student. Oh, at the university? Sam? Ah, uh, we're in here. Wife? Sure is. Hey, hey, good morning. This is Kate. Nice to meet you. I'm Taryn. Uh, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Taryn is going to the university. Great. Mm -hmm. Moving in alone, or? No, my, uh, my dad actually just left for work. Oh. I'm unpacking today. And tomorrow, and the next day. <laughs> well, we should let you get to it then. Yeah, here, I I'll grab that. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Let us know if you need anything else, okay? I will. Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Good morning, everyone. This is AP Literature and Composition 201. If that is not written in your schedule, then you are in the wrong class and late for your actual class. My name is Mr. Luck, and I had a few of you in uh, 101 last year. So you guys know my expectations. Last year, we worked from this cumbersome textbook. This, uh, come on in and find a seat. So, um, well, we worked from this 324-page behemoth that you needed to lug around in your backpacks every day. The uh, school district heard our pleas and granted us these tablets, which will sync assignments from my laptop. Come on up and sign one out. For classroom use only. Hey, Taryn? Why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. I said I was a student. Uh, right, but I thought you meant college, <laughs> not high school. I certainly didn't expect to see you in my class. What difference does it make? Well, I... What, you wouldn't have flirted with me? I didn't flirt with you, Taryn. Yeah, you did. It's okay, Sam. I liked it. <laughs> so, you're a fan of sausage? Oh, no. That's for my diner. You have a diner that serves blood sausage? That's gross. My... Best friend Decker and I, we've always talked about it on a diner. Found this place on Millbank and, uh, <clears throat> well, it doesn't matter. I should go. <laughs> you taking the bus? Just today. My car should be here tonight. My dad had it shipped. He had it shipped? 
He likes to spoil me. He's away on business most of the time, so he gives me what I want. I like getting what I want. I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. Laffer. Hey. Okay. It's a bit underwhelming. Where's my teacher of the year? Ah, it's just. You know that girl that moved in across the street? Yeah. It turns out she goes to the high school. What? Yeah. And she's in my fourth hour. And I guess she lives in that house all by herself most of the time because her dad's always away on business. It's got to be hard for a kid her age, don't you think? Yeah. I guess I just feel a little sorry for her, that's all. Well, why don't we have her over? For dinner or something? Yeah, maybe. out this morning to get ready to, you know, drive to work, and the car wasn't here. What's going on? Uh, my car was stolen. What? That sucks. You, uh, you didn't hear anything. No. Here's a copy of our report. The insurance company's gonna want to see this. I'm Officer Gardner. There's a number there at the top you can call. If you have any questions, that's it. If we uh, find anything, we'll let you know. Thanks. Well. This is unbelievable. So where's Kate? She already left. She leaves for work about 6 a.m. every day. What are you going to do about a car? I have no idea. Well, you could use my father's when he gets here. I'll, I'll have to check with him, make sure it's OK. Oh, I couldn't ask that. It's. You didn't. I offered. Well. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This might sound funny, but do you want to ride to school? I think a little fresh air will do you some good. Promise me a nice dinner. Come on. What could be better than a home-cooked spaghetti meal, huh? What do you think? Burnt garlic bread? No, 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 no. Oh. 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 I think they're ready. Sorry I'm late. Oh, God. Oh, hey, honey. I thought I'd start dinner. <laughs> How do you feel about Chinese, Taryn? 
Who's hungry? Are you sure I can't do anything? You're the guest. You stay put. So, how was your day, Hansel? Ah, oh, bad. I want you so. Are you sure I can't help? We got the dishes. You sit down and relax. I should actually get going. I have to call the plumber in the morning, so. Wow, what's wrong? It's no big deal. There's a leak under the kitchen sink. I just want to get it fixed before it gets any worse. Oh, I'm sure I could fix that for you. You fix something? Hey, I could fix it. It'll be no problem. It's the least I could do. You don't want to call a plumber. Not on the weekend. They'll overcharge you. OK. One condition. What's that? No more dinners. <laughs> sure. Thanks again. Anytime. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so clumsy. I'm I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> Not to worry. See you later. Thanks again. Hey, uh, I'll be over about ten, that okay? Yeah, whenever. Night. Bye. That was nice of you. To offer to help her? Ah, she seems like a good kid, huh? Hey, you're not mad, are you? No. I just don't know how much she should be relying on you to help her. Actually, I'm the one that's relying on her. I mean, I'm borrowing her father's car, at least until we can get the insurance money for our old one. What else would I be doing? Renting one? Imagine how much that would cost. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. Just wondering if it's okay, that's all. To borrow her father's car. I mean, does he even know? Ah, oh, come on. I need a car, she's got a spare. You're overthinking it. <sighs> You're right. What else would we be doing? Father's okay with me borrowing his car. Yeah, I talked to him this morning. It's no big deal. I told him it's the neighborly thing to do. Thank you very much. I'll uh, make other arrangements as soon as I can. Yeah, okay. Uh, try it now. Okay, stop. Uh, I think we almost got it. So where's Kate? Uh, she's working. On a Sunday? She's trying to make a big impression. They've got a big case coming up, and she's responsible for all the research. There's a guy helping her, but I guess he's not doing much. Hmm. And you don't mind her working on the weekends and late nights? You don't think something might happen? Like an office affair? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> Kate, I really need your help on this project. I just can't do it without you. We'll get a bottle of wine, some dinner. It's my treat. You might have to work all night long, though. Then, when they've had a few drinks, maybe Kate's hair falls gently down her face, cascading over her cheek. You know how that happens. And the guy, he'll... He'll reach up to put her hair back behind her ear. But he won't take his hand away. 
because the light shining in her eyes and making them sparkle. He just can't help himself. Kate, in my whole entire life, I've never seen anyone more beautiful than you. The way the light hits your eyes, I, I think I might explode if I don't touch you. You got a wild imagination, you know that? Come on, you honestly never thought about it? Not even once? Yeah. No. It's admirable of you. How's that? I don't know. If I were you, I wouldn't want Kate to work so much. And if I were Kate, I wouldn't want you to be alone so much. What's the sense in being in a committed relationship if you're spending 98% of the time without the other person? <laughs> but what do I know? Well? Uh, well, I, uh, I think I've almost got it here. Try it now. Nothing. Nothing? No. Here we go. Try it now. Mm, no. Oh! Ah! Give me that before you hurt yourself again. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Ah, uh, I think so. Let me see. Yeah, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. Ah, uh, it hurts right now. <laughs> I'll, uh, fix this. Yeah. I should change. Sam? Anyone home? Oh, hey. Honey, we're back here in the kitchen. Hey. We just had a little plumbing malfunction here, so... Yeah, I can see that. What are you doing here? Oh, I just had a break. I thought I'd come by and say hi. Oh, good. <laughs> hi, Kate. Hi. Did Sam tell you what happened? You should have seen his face. <laughs> can I get you anything? Actually, no. Thanks, though. I was just checking in, seeing how it was going. I have to get back to work in a bit. Yeah, I'll come with you. I've done enough damage here for one day. <laughs> well, the place looks great. Thanks. <laughs> I had a feeling he wasn't the plumber he thought he was. <laughs> ah, looks like you're almost settled in. Yeah. Oh, beautiful picture. Are they your parents? Yeah. Oh, your mom's beautiful. Wow. I'm really sorry about the mess in there. I'll call you a plumber after all. That's okay. I should have called one in the first place. Let's go, Mr. Fix-It. Thanks, Sam. Okay, everybody, take our seats. Take our seats, please. Sorry I'm late. Let's take out your tablets, sync up to my computer. Now, last week, we were, uh, we were discussing our modern society and the effect it's had on literature. And uh... Everybody, quiet, please. Macy, uh, what's going on? I think there's... Uh, I just think maybe you sent us the wrong file from your computer. <laughs> Everybody log off, please. Come in, please. What the hell happened this morning? I am so sorry. Distributing pornographic material to the students, intentional or not, is gross misconduct. I really think we have to reconsider this. 
tablet idea of yours. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> the tablets were working fine. Somebody must have hacked into my. I am not concerned with how it might have happened. I am concerned that it never happen again. Yeah. This has to go in your file. You understand? Yeah, I understand. And you were late today. <laughs> no, I know. I know. It's not going to happen again. See that it doesn't. Hi. Hey. Hey, Maddie. I'm happy to see you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Maddie, go on. Hey there. Hi. You've had quite the day. You uh, heard what happened, though. Not just me. Pretty sure the entire student body's heard. Neighboring school districts, bordering states. I wouldn't worry about it too much. From what I've heard, you're a pretty good teacher. No one will even remember it by tomorrow. Maybe next week. Listen, what are you doing right now? Nothing. Why? Sometimes it's harder to be alone, you know? You had said that Kate works late, and I thought maybe you'd... <laughs> Forget it. I'll see you in class. Hey, Taryn. What are you thinking? I cannot believe I subjected myself to this humiliation. You're not that bad. Hey, you almost doubled my score. Like our age. I think I have something that'll cheer you up. Or at least make it a bit better. To thank you for being so kind, so neighborly. Uh, you didn't have to get me anything. Maybe I didn't. Oh, my God. You don't have to make it a big deal. It's just a watch. If you don't like it, I can take it back. And... No. <laughs> Taryn, it's, it's beautiful, but... Well, I... I can't accept it. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because it's... It's too much. <laughs> You call yourself a creative writing teacher. It's the best you could come up with. Please, it'll be an insult if you don't accept it. We should go. You should see your face right now. The how am I going to tell my wife look? <laughs> thank you for tonight, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the watch. Called. 
I'm sorry the day got away from me. Decker left a message. Hey, Sammy, have you called the bank about the problem with the diner account? What they say, those stupid dip. Call you later. Say hi to Kate. Bye. Hello. Hi. Taryn. I am um, I just wanted to say thank you. You know, for tonight. Yeah. It was fun. Sorry we had to leave so quick. Don't worry about it. I get it. Oh, because you know, it's not like we were doing anything wrong, but it might not look good, that's all. I just wanted to call and say thank you. I should go. Dylan's waiting for me to call him back. Quarterback Dylan? Maybe. Why? Are you guys like boyfriend and girlfriend or something? I'll see you later. So they found your car, but then they impounded it. <laughs> That's gonna cost you some bucks, pal. Yeah. They think that I stole my own car, then hid it out in the middle of nowhere to collect on the insurance money. You believe that? It's such a scam, man. Hey, Sammy, look, there's something we gotta talk about. Yeah, shoot. You didn't happen to take any money out. Did you? Where, the diner account? Yeah. No, man, I didn't take anything out. Because there's money missing and I didn't take it out. Listen, so, Sammy, we've been friends a long time, right? Now, if you if ever were in trouble or you needed something, you said some money, I mean, you know, you can come to me, right? Whoa, I'm your boy. Dak, listen, I'm telling you, I didn't withdraw any money, okay? If there's a problem at the bank, I'll call him in the morning and get it straightened out. You're right. That's, that's probably it. That'd be good. Thanks. <laughs> Buy a new Rolex. The, you know that girl who moved in across the street? Taryn? Turns out, Taryn is in my class and uh i don't know she gave me this watch she's got a crush on me or something <laughs> <laughs> she bought you a rolex no i mean come on it's it's gotta be fake right i mean who would give their teacher a genuine rolex 
Still got the Beamer, huh? She give you that too? What? No, she loaned me the BMW, man. I told you my car's impounded, so. Right. So your student gave you a Rolex and a BMW. Loaned me the BMW. Next, you'll be telling me her daddy bought the house across the street because she's in love with you. Just, just tell me you didn't take the money. Sammy, that's all I need to hear. OK, you, you didn't take the money because this, this whole story, it's all too crazy. Dak, I didn't take the money, all right? Relax. I'm going to call the bank, and we're going to get it squared away. Kate, I'm home. Kitty? Oh, hey. I'm starving. You want something to eat? Where have you been? I've been calling. Yeah, I... Sorry. I got kind of busy. Are you OK? Hey, what's wrong? Maddie's dead, Sam. What? What? <gasps> what happened? He started acting weird, so I... Called the vet. But by the time I got off the phone, poor Maddie. Oh my God. Katie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi. Did you finish your paper? Yeah. Well, how'd it go? You want to see me? Yes, yeah, Sam, come in. Shut the door, please. Take a seat. You really don't look good. It's, it's been a rough couple of days, that's all. A serious issue has come up that has me quite upset, to be honest. How can I help? I really don't know how to approach this, so I'm just going to give it to you straight. You have been named in a sexual harassment allegation involving a female student. A what? A sexual? What are you talking about? There's been no sexual anything. I have never once suggested anything even remotely sexual with any student ever. <laughs> I'm teacher of the year, for Christ's sake. Sam, this is a very serious matter. Who is it? Who's, who's saying these things? It's Macy, isn't it? She's been acting strange for weeks. Maybe there's a mistake or something. Maybe the... If any of these charges are corroborated or found to have merit, you will be immediately dismissed. This serves as your only warning, Mr. Luck. What about my rights? Do I get to confront my accuser, or...? You'll get that chance when and if she decides to press charges. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. All right, now that was the official response. On a personal note, what the hell is going on here? I don't know. Did you hear? Yeah. I'm sorry. Of course you did. 
I'm sure everybody at school is talking about it. What? Do you know who's saying these things about me? I have no idea, Sam. Don't lie to me, Tara. If I knew, I would tell you. You know that, right? Yeah. You trust me, don't you? What's up, man? I'm kind of late. This won't take long. Sorry, I haven't been in touch. I've just been kind of busy. You got problems, dude. I came here to tell you that I know. I know about the diner. What about the diner? Well, the realtor called me this morning. He said that Sam Luck, property management, bought the diner out from underneath me man that guy didn't buy the diner just management just and i had into this and you scream hey Dak, wait a minute i came here to tell you two things that i know that you're a liar And then our friendship is over.
Hey, uh... I'll see you in my office, Mr. Luck. The school board has found merit in the complaint filed against you. You are terminated, Mr. Luck, effective immediately. Helen, I promise that I'd never cross the line with any girl at this school ever. This is not going to be a discussion. Helen, please. You are to collect your belongings, empty out your locker, and leave the premises at once. Helen, please. Send her in. Come in. Please take a seat. How are you doing, okay? I wanted you to be the first to know. You don't have to worry any longer. Thank you. I'm sorry. No. This is not your fault, Taryn. Now. If you need anything else, you're to come to me, dear. <laughs> Sam, think about it. There's got to be something you did. Katie, there's nothing. I... I swear to God, Sam, you have been acting so different. I mean, with... With the diner? And Decker? And the whole car insurance thing? And this thing with Taryn? I found this in your drawer, Sam. You went through my stuff. Where did you get? Watch Sam. Taryn gave it to you, didn't she? <laughs> because that would be inappropriate, Sam. That would be beyond inappropriate. You're just really scaring me, Sam. Did you hear what I just said? I said you're scaring me, Sammy. <laughs> Sam, look at me, please. I don't like her, and I don't trust her! Have you thought just for a minute about Taryn's situation? Because I have. And it's more than obvious to me that it's a little strange. She's a little strange. She might even be dangerous. I want you to think long and hard, Sam, that maybe you're doing something with her that you can't undo. Are you listening to me? Can you stand back for just a moment, Sam? Do you see how this looks? I mean, my God, this is huge.
Hey, Kate. <clears throat> Looking good. Do you want the magazine, too? So what? So what? It's the same picture Taryn has in her house, in a frame, Sam. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Don't you think that's just a little weird? I mean, come on. She told me it was a picture of her parents. Why would she do that? Put a magazine ad in a frame. I don't know. Kate, I don't know. Why don't you go ask her, all right? We don't know anything about her. She shows up out of the blue and our lives turn to enough. It's enough. I'm going out.
find everything you wanted? Obviously. If there's something else you want, say something behind the counter. Maybe I can find it for you. 
dear Sam. Got the insurance papers? What's your name? Uh, call me Bert. Now, are those really necessary, the insurance papers, Bert? Because I have something that might change your mind. What do you think, Bert? Turn, open up. Come in. She's gone. What? Who's gone? Kate. She left. She, uh... Dear Sam. Dear Sam, I know things haven't been good for you lately, or for us. I wish there was some way to make it go away, but I just think it's best for both of us if we take some time away from each other to figure things out. I don't know what else to do. I can't be with you like this. I'm leaving you. Oh, I know I screwed things up with Kate. It's okay. It's okay. I can't stop thinking about you. Let's go home, Terry. Get out. What? 
Karen, what's wrong? You finally got what you wanted. You raped me, Sam. How could you say that? I can't believe you did this to me. You came on to me. Nothing happened here that we both didn't want to happen. Yeah, right. You me, Sam. You're going to jail for this. I'm a high school student, Sam. You're my teacher. Don't you think there's something wrong with that? Taren, Get out! Taryn, please. Get out! Please, we can't. Get out! Get out! Get out! Go! You disgusting pervert! Get out! Get out! Hey, Taryn, I know you're there. Pick up the phone, please. Come on, I just left your house. I know that you're there. Hey, Kate, it's Sam. Uh, call me when you can, okay? I'm really, really sorry for, uh, for everything. I love you. I love you very much. Call me, please. Kate. It's Taryn. I'm sorry, but this is really hard for me. Are you okay? I can't keep going like this. It's been difficult, Sam. And things just didn't work out the way that I wanted them to. My mom died, Sam. I don't know if you knew that or not. And I found her, you know? I just couldn't seem to pull it together after that. They put me in a hospital, Sam. For a very long time, and they thought I got better. Now I'm not so sure. I can't do this anymore, Sam. I'm coming over. No. I gotta go. Goodbye.
Taryn, whatever you're thinking about doing, Taryn, don't. Please. Did they teach you how to deal with teens in crisis at teacher school? How would you deal with this situation? Take it easy. Do you love me, Sam? Do you? Darren, what happened between us was wrong. Okay? I know that. And you can't blame yourself. Put the gun down. your fault, Darren. I know. It's your fault. What? I said it's your fault! I don't understand. It's really not that hard to figure out. <laughs> Think about it. Nine years ago, do you remember when that little girl walked in on you and her mother? That was you. You ruined my life! My family! She had a kid. She never even told me she was married. That day, when you walked in on us, I, I never meant to hurt her. But you did! You did hurt her! She loved you, and you used her up and threw her away like it was nothing. It was the final straw for her, Sam. that feels like, Sam? To lose someone you love? <laughs> You've messed up a lot of people, Sam. First my mother, then me. Now Kate. What do you know about Kate? The diner. You did those things. Kate never liked me. She thought I was crazy. Maybe even dangerous. Where is she? You don't deserve her, Sam. What did you do? Sam. What did you do to my wife? Her blood's on your hands, Sam. Not mine. No.
Sam. Do it. Put the weapon down! Drop it now! Put it down and step away. Sam, do you don't want to do this. Drop it! Put the weapon down! Drop the gun, Sam! She killed her! violent a few days ago when his wife disappeared and, and... <laughs> Somebody call homicide. We, uh, got a body here. Looks like the murder weapon. <laughs> 